Sometimes an image isn't enough. Video can be used to help you be a more clear and effective communicator. Maybe a coworker asks how to add an animation in PowerPoint. Or maybe I need to correct a coworker on an incorrect workflow they were using to add data to one of our systems. In either case, showing the exact steps and having them hear my tone and even see my body language will help prevent any miscommunication and represent my intent better, which is to provide helpful instruction. As an example, let's walk through creating a demo for a potential client. In addition to showing off the product, I want to make a personal connection. First, let's open any of the files, apps, and documents I want to walk the client through. And now, let's open Snagit. From the Snagit capture window, go to the Video tab. There are several options you can adjust here, like whether you want Snagit to capture your cursor. I won't cover all these options now, but as you become more advanced with video recording, they may streamline your process. One key option for our example is turning on the web camera. When enabled, your recording will start capturing the webcam instead of the screen. While recording, you can turn the webcam on and off, even if you start with it off. Let's start our video capture. Selecting a recording area reveals the recorder toolbar. Since I want my customer to hear my voice, I'll make sure my microphone is turned on and check the visual indicator to make sure that it's picking up my voice. I don't have any system audio I want to capture, like sounds coming from my computer, so I'll leave that alone. Now I'm ready to record my demo. Let's start the recording. Hi Anton, I wanted to tell you about the new options available. When you open up the application, let's pause the recording here. While recording, if you have a webcam connected, which I do, you can switch between it and the screen recording at any time. When should you switch from screen to webcam? A good time is when you need to share information, but don't have relevant screen content. You can also switch when you want to emphasize a point. Since I didn't like how the video started, I'm going to restart the video. Hi Anton, I wanted to tell you about the new options available. When you open up the application, once you've finished recording, click Stop. The video will open in Snagit Editor. Before I send my video to my client, I'll preview it. If there's a part I want to remove, I can use Snagit to cut those parts from the video. Select the area by choosing Start and End Points, and then the Cut option. Snagit marks that a cut was made with a yellow line. Now that the video is finished, I'll save the MP4 video file to my desktop. You could also share it to popular destinations like YouTube, Google Drive, or Dropbox. If you want to edit your video more, you can also send it directly to TechSmith Camtasia. For more information about customizing the Outputs menu, check out the tutorial about sharing your media.